Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to write, we're going to use arrow functions to write concise anonymous functions. In JavaScript, we often don't need to name our functions, especially when passing a function with an argument to another function. Instead, we create inline functions. We don't need to name these functions because we do not uh, reuse them elsewhere in the code. So to achieve this, we often use the following syntax. So we'll say, we say a constant equal to my function, and that is equal to an anonymous, and then this one, which is is it an anonymous? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a non-named function. And uh, we set the val value of my variable, and we return my val variable. Uh, ES6 provides us with syntactic sugar to not have to write the anonymous functions this way. Instead, you can use uh, arrow function syntax. So instead, in, instead of saying function, you can just leave out the word function and then just put this arrow key in instead and you get the same exact results. Uh, when there is no function body and only a return value, arrow function syntax allows you to omit the uh, keyword return as well as the brackets surrounding the code. This helps simplify uh, smaller functions into one line statements. So you can use this, you could, do, you could write it this way, but this is more concise and with uh, ES6 you can write it this way so that it's actually only one line. Uh, we wanna rewrite the function assigned to the variable magic uh, which returns a new date to use an arrow function syntax. Also make sure nothing is defined using the keyword uh, var. So here, yeah, what can we do? We could say const. So they're saying don't use var. This would be a mistake. We want to go const. See, constant, and then we want to say uh, the magic is equal to uh, the parameters, which are empty here, and then with function, and we want to set that equal to uh, date.new. No, we just want to set it to date. Sorry, that was some Ruby stuff. And I think that'll pass the test. Magic should return the correct date. Oh, okay, yeah, here's the problem. We can't have that in there. Mm, okay, so we rewrite the function, assign the variable magic, which returns a new date. Oh, okay. We've got to make this guy new. What does that do? That makes it so that we're creating a new object. We're not just displaying what it is. We're instantiating a new object. I think that opened up past the test. Okay, that was a little tricky because they didn't really share with you the fact that they needed the new date. Um, so I think that, that this is basically the idea behind um, arrow functions. You can write kind of complex code in arrow functions like this. You'll see this a lot in uh, things like React. Um, so yeah, run the test, they pass. Hope this helps, and we'll see you guys in the next lesson.